Shall we continue in our uh, ancillary series, ancillary to the uh, Marvel Studios film uh, Black Panther? This is almost like an ancillary of the ancillary, uh, because, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into the film uh, for for a couple of well, for a little while, a couple of days. I want a lot of people to see it if they so choose to uh, tune in uh, to what I have to say about the film exactly. Uh, um, this is like the fifth. Uh, thing. But there's a lot of things going on around the film as I knew it would. You know? um, it, 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 strangely enough, well, not strangely enough, you, know, you get the hotel brothers come in talking about this and that, uh, the whole, whole ch community coming around that, you get the politics coming around or whatever have you. Um, but there's this one thing that's kind of interesting. Somebody, you know, it's so easy these days just to write out a meme or write out something and then say, and just try to start a movement, which you, you know, from from wherever you're starting it from. And one of the things is, this is that uh, Disney's, well, Marvel Studios is under the Disney. Um, and they say, well, Disney uh, should give uh, 20 to 25 percent of the profits from this film to, um, you know, to the black community, whatever that means. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, not going to happen, but interesting. Uh, in fact, I, I, here's my, my problem. It's an easy thing. It's an easy thing to say. Let me put it that way. Uh, I mean, if you want to do something as far as giving back to, why well, first give back to the actors, to, to the crew, you know, uh, maybe they should get a back end, something like that. But if you don't work, work that out in the contract in the beginning, there's going to be a battle to do all that stuff. And then, you know, you get your agents and your lawyers involved, and then, of course, you know, you know what happens with them. Then you get all these middlemen involved uh, between you and the thing. But for instance, like Chadwick Boseman uh, got, I think, three million. Uh, dollars for this, for this film. I don't know if it's three million for each one these Black Panther is going to do. How are they going to negotiate that? Uh, uh, I, I think after that, I think maybe Lupita uh, uh, Nyong'o got a million, a million dollars. Uh, but then everybody else, their salary is under that. You know, like Forrest Whitaker, Academy Award winner. I think he had eight hundred thousand. Um, I think it's Angela Bassett. It's close to that, something like that. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it, everybody's under eight hundred thousand. But remember, these, uh, especially black people, they don't have a, you have a track record, but they have a track record and, you know, they have to weigh all that stuff, da, 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 da. but they'll get powerful as it is. Okay, but here's the thing. If I was going to do something like that, I would do things like, uh, I would say, okay, give back to the black community. Why? Let, okay, everybody's hopped up on, you know, the, the Wakanda, whatever have you. Now I'm sitting here in Africa, so um, I'm, I'm going like, oh, you know, Disney, they, they have amusement parks all over the world, you know. I'm not saying to do this, I'm just giving you an example, something more difficult to do. And, uh, and, and Kenya, um, uh, Rwanda, that kind of area, especially one is high tech, Kenya getting high tech. Uh, maybe they should have, uh, you know, a theme park, you know. Uh, in Kenya, close to you know, close to where Wakanda is supposed to be, and in building that theme park, you know, they use labor designs and everything like that from the um, from the black community. You know, when I say black community, I guess I mean the diaspora, whatever have you. I'm just saying, you know, I know that in the, for instance, in the in the early '80s, it was a big move again because uh, I was in well, New York City. I had a, I had a friend of mine. He would basically uh, I want to say extort. Uh, well, he extort these film companies and say that no, we got to hire like, the, the, the guards and the whatever for that. Some people even on construction crews or whatever. He would do that for construction crews too in New York, you know. Uh, and it's all about extortion and Black Panthers. One of the unknown things is that the Black, Black Panthers, when they got their food, sometimes they would shake down the neighborhood, you know, food vendors or whatever have you, to get that food to free the breakfast for, which is proper, I'm not saying this, but I'm just saying these things happen. So that's one thing to do. Um, but there's other things that, 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 that you can do in terms of merchandising, maybe maybe the merchandising for it, or even when you have African clothes, make sure clothes come from African countries and have some export, import, export, I, I don't know, but there's other things you can do. But trying to ask a corporation to give you know, after the fact, you know, I suppose the film was a failure, <laughs> but now it's success. Everybody, everybody wants to jump on a bandwagon, which is, which, well, it is what it is. So, um, so I think people should stop losing their minds over this thing. Uh, and, 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 and some of the analysis I see is just really uh, interesting, but kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of dumb.
But what it did, oh, I'm, I'm not, let me get back to what I really wanted to say in this thing. I don't want to go through all this, all this dark drama surrounding the, the, the film. Um, but one of the things I'm grateful for is that because of this, and, and I started really following this stuff in, in like June, yeah, oh. like June of last year. I guess when the trailer dropped, I'm not really sure. Uh, but um, one of the things that happened because you know other people were posting stuff like there's a sister I think she's from South Africa that um, uh, she started posting and it was interesting what she had to say there's this brother um, I'll, I'll, I'll put links down below there's this brother who knows real well, a lot of people know African history, or African history, especially yeah, when it, it, it deals with uh, 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 Egypt and stuff like that. Uh, but this brother, not only doesn't know, but he's very articulate about it, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I mean, so I've been following him. There's this uh, other um, uh, uh, other dude, I would say dude, you know, um, this art student. Uh, well, uh, 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 I guess he's going to school for art, but you know, like postgraduate level that he's into I think it's cool that he's a red mask something like that I'll put his link below to it. I really appreciate him. He talks kind of strange but I like his delivery. I, I like his, but his information about uh, mass and symbolism in the film is like really spot on. So I appreciate that. So for this network of folks that are really you know doing doing some other things around it and, 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 and dealing with Africa on another level, it's really uh, refreshing, you know and and, and and I'm appreciative that uh, I, I got to start looking at all these other people's uh, posts and you know YouTube kind of things, and uh, it's, it's just well, it's just fascinating to me. So that's it for for now. I'm trying to make this short. I think tomorrow I'll start getting into, um, or the next time I post, I'll start getting into characters and stuff like that. Tell you what I think about that. I should say uh, one other thing about art. Uh, leading into the characters, one of the most seen. One of the scenes I really like, just a moment that I like the best is when um, Michael G. Jordan's character, Eric Killmonger, is in the museum at the beginning. I'm not born to say anything, but he, he, he does what he does. I'm not going to say what it is. But then he's fascinated by this, this mass. And I'm going like, wow, that's so interesting. Uh, because um, I used to go to a lot of museums. I had to. Well, not I had to, but, but I used to go to a lot of museums. And the way he was talking in the museum, the way he's talking to this museum uh, official was just the way I felt, you know. So it, there's a lot of stuff that if you, if you have personal things, it, it, it sort of hits you right. Oh, another thing um, about the, the language, there was some, some complaint about, I don't know, maybe there was a complaint, but you know, uh, the Isi Kosa, uh, the, well, the Dama Kosa culture, it has the Isi Kosa as the language, or Kosa is the language. and. Uh, it's actually a derivative for all these languages here. Like you have the, the, the you have the Sutu, you know, you have uh, um, uh, you have the, the, the Zulu, you have the Swazi. All these languages, they all come from the same branch, so they sort of related. Each, everybody can they can under uh, they can understand each other, you know. Um, and so that's that's quite interesting. Maybe I'll talk about it another time. So if people have a problem with the you know the languages they're using, it's only because it's like three or four South Africans in the thing, and they sort of you know I guess they uh, they have dialect culture, whatever have you. And since they're there, they probably use them more than anything. And I think that Chadwick Boseman, because like I said, he did a film uh, with a South African connection uh, uh, way before these uh, before these other films. Um, and he was a play, he played a South African from Cape Town. Um, and, and so I just had a dialogue coach with that, I'm not really sure. So it's sort of easy how you, how you do these things. Okay, so that's it from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about Wakanda.